Hey guys, um, this is Adi from my Nokia blog, and today we're going to be taking another look at um, one of the Nokia exclusive apps. This one was released, was announced at the Windows Phone Developer Summit last month. It is the um, counter app, which is a counter for your data messaging and phone call usage. So um, currently the app is in a beta mode, so you're going to have to pick it up from the beta labs, the Nokia. I'll drop the link down below. Anyways, so here you have your main layout. It just shows you your calls, messaging, and data limits, and how much of each limit you've used. As you can see right now, it's telling me I've used 1.6 megabytes of data, zero messages sent out of 60, and I have set my calls to unlimited. So if I slide over to limits, I can change my um, allocations for data. I can change my messaging limit. I currently have it set to 60. If I just change it, I can put whatever number I want, and the same goes for data. You can change the amount and you can change your format from megabytes to gigabytes. Currently, since it's in beta mode, it does not support fractional data, so I can't put 1.5 gigabytes, but um, you know, it's a beta, so I'm sure it'll change. And then of course you can change what time your plan rolls over and uh, starts over again. So you can choose the first day of the month, the last day of the month, or a specific date. Anyways, um, so let's just take a look at the tracking usage. So currently I have zero messages used and 1.6 megabytes of data. So if I just go to messaging and I'm going to send myself a message. All right. Hi. Go to my nokiablog.com. Sorry. Looking through the um, the viewfinder isn't very useful. Anyway, so I send, and um, so I've sent a text, and now if I go to my counter, under messaging, as you can see, it's been updated to show I have sent one message with 59 messages remaining. And the same goes for data. I'm not sure if I'm connected to my network right now. I am, but with very poor cellular connection, so um, it's possible it might not work. But let's just refresh mynokiablog.com. This is taking a while. Um, not sure about my network connection, but anyways, so if I go to counters again, as you can see, my data just went up. I used 0.1 megabytes, so it's basically real-time tracking. Unfortunately, currently, you can't pin a specific um, counter, so I can't pin my data counter to the home screen. I can only pin the app itself, but, you know, that's fine. Um... So that's it for the Counters app. Um, pretty simple, you know, pretty useful. A lot of people have been asking for it, and it's here. Um, well, while we're at it, just a quick look at the other app that was released, which was the Contact Transfer, Contact Share, which can share contacts through email and um, through email and SMSs. Just wipe this. Sorry, guys. Hands are very greasy. So through contacts and transfer. So if I just click on... Let's go to my name, Ali, here we go. And I will share this contact. You can choose which options to share, which numbers, which emails, blah, blah, blah. So just select that and choose share by email or SMS. It will send in a default V card format, which is supported by iPhone and Android and, and Windows Phone and a bunch of others. So you can do that. Unfortunately, right now there is no option to send by Bluetooth. Actually, let's just send it by email. Much easier. To myself. As you can see, I have a, a V card attached up here. VCF. And so once I send that, if I go to my email, Refresh that. As you can see, I have my V card just reached. Sorry. V card reached, and 
one kilobyte if I open it. I can choose which where to create the contact in which um which one of my options. So that's basically it for the contact sharing. And once you do that, of course, you can also sorry. You can also view which contacts you received once I save it, but I haven't saved it, so it's not showing up. So that's basically it for the two apps, the contact sharing and the um, counters app. Um, hope you guys found it useful. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below, as usual. And thanks for watching.